How did your cooperation with Ozzy start back in the 80s? And what did it feel like to be the first guy in the studio after Randy Rhodes? Ozzy, uh, you know, after uh, Brad uh, said that he was going to go back to Night Ranger, um, yeah. Ozzy was looking for a guitar player, and he went back to uh, Dana Strum. Uh, he's the bassist, and... Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, Dana Strum actually was, I, from what I understand, was the original bassist in Ozzy's band, and he, because uh, Ozzy was living in L.A. at the time, yeah. and Dana would bring him guitar players um, to try out, and that's how he found Randy. Um, so when he was decided, you know, he had to find another guitar player, he went back to Dana Strum, and Dana Strum, uh, basically, he got 10 guys that were supposed to be the best guys in L.A. at the time, and uh, we all went into the studio. He gave us like five minutes to record whatever we wanted to record. Then he took a photo of us, and he sent the tape and the photos to Ozzy. And uh, out of all those, there was, uh, other than me, there was also uh, uh, George Lynch was one of them. Okay. And um, he, I guess George was his first choice. Because from what I understand, from what everybody tells me from back in those days, George was uh, offered uh, first yeah. to be Ozzy's guitar player before Randy. And um, and George didn't take it because Dokken had just gotten signed, um, I think in Germany. And he thought that it looked like a better opportunity and you know Ozzy was a mess back then, yeah. so so he he decided to stick with Doc and rather than join Ozzy, and that's when Randy got the gig. So George got first shot at it the second time around, and uh, he went out on tour with him, and he didn't play any shows, but he would do uh, uh, sound checks and yeah. stuff like that, and. Apparently, Ozzy wasn't really happy with the way George sounded during the sound checks, and so he wanted to hear somebody else. And I got a call one night that uh, Ozzy was going to be in town, and he wanted to hear me play, and it would be with the band. <clears throat> the very next day, I was supposed to show up to the studio, and I didn't know the songs. I didn't think I, you know, I didn't think that was um, I was going to get a call back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I had to go out. I borrowed the record from somebody, the the first Ozzy album, and I learned Crazy Train and I Don't Know, and uh, I showed up for uh, <laughs> for the audition the next yeah. day. And I remember, because I didn't know the songs, and they are actually pretty similar. You know, they're both in A. Yeah. Uh, they're both about the same tempo, and they have the uh, 16th note uh, lower A string yeah. predominating through it all. That uh, when I did the audition, I would kind of mix the parts up. <laughs> um, you know, I'd, I'd go into a different part, and it. Uh, I thought uh, I thought the audition was terrible because I was messing up the songs. Yeah. Uh, I played fine. You know, I, it's not like I I couldn't play. But I obviously didn't know the songs, and uh, I was sure I didn't have it. And um, But at the end, as I was packing my gear up, uh, actually George walked in, and um, and he I, it was the first time I ever met him. Yeah. He walked in, and he said, how'd it go? And I said, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I got it. And then Ozzy walked up, and he looked at me and said, do you want it? I said, do I want it? And he goes, yeah, do you want the fucking gig? I said, yes. <laughs> and then he turned to George and he said, it's his, you lost it. And then he walked away. <laughs> and that was the first time I saw Ozzy fire somebody. And it's never a pretty sight. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I hadn't even met George. Really, I had an intro. It, it was after Ozzy walked away, I turned to George and said, Hi, my name's Jake, by the way. <laughs> and uh, it was a very awkward 
introduction for me and George, but uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, I like George. We get along. Uh, every time I see him, you know, it's a good time. So yeah. I, uh, I'm glad he didn't hold that against me. 